okay guys welcome back to engineers academy now we are going to solve one another problem from chapter 14 hebler dynamics the problem says that marbles having mass of 5 gram are dropped from rest at a so the mass is 5 grams and if you want to convert it into kg so we have to divide it by 1000 so as we know that 1 kg equals to 1000 grams so mass will be equal to 5 divided by 1000 kgs and the velocity at a is 0 since it is given that it starts from rest so the initial velocity at a is 0 meter per second and it is said that through the smooth glass tube and accumulate in the cane at c determine the placement r of the cane from the end of the tube and the speed at which the marble falls into the cane neglect the size of the cane so first of all we have to find the velocity at point c and then we have to find this r the placement of the cane from this end b so first of all i will apply the work energy principle in order to find this r we have to find the velocity at b and then we have to find the velocity at c since that velocity at c is required we are asked to find and then we are asked to find this r but to find this r we have to find the velocity at point b so to find the velocity at point b we have to apply the work energy principle between point a and b so the work energy principle at um, between point a and b is the kinetic energy at state a plus the work done due to the external forces on the marble from a to b will be equal to the kinetic energy at state b so now it is given that the initial velocity is zero so there is no kinetic energy at state a so that is zero plus if this is if this marble is somewhere here and if we are considering the normal and tangential coordinate system so the weight is acting vertically downward and this is the weight and the normal force is acting in the positive end direction so as we can see that this marble is moving along the tangential direction and there is no motion in the normal direction so this means that the n is always perpendicular to the distance traveled which is uh, always the displacement is always traveled along the tangential axis so this normal is not doing any work the only work done is by the weight right so we can say that the work done due to the weight and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point b so the kinetic energy at point b will be 1 divided by 2 so mass times vb square and mass is this thing which is 5 divided by 1000 so now the work done due to the weight is is we know that this is always the w times the change in the vertical position and this will be equal to 1 divided by 2 or we can say that this is 1 divided by 2 5 divided by 1000 vb square and the change in the vertical position so the from state a to state b the ball covers a distance of 1 feet in the vertical direction right so this is 3 minus 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 feet from a to b and the weight will be equal to the mass times g so let me write that the mass is 5 divided by 1000 times g g is 9.81 and delta y is 1 feet so now this will cancel out and we will be left with uh, vb square and if we cross multiply this 9.81 with 2 so that will be 2 into 9.81 into 1 and then if you want to find that vb then we have to take the square root 2 into 9.81 so this will be the velocity of the marble at point v so this is 4.429 so vp equals to 4.429 meter per second now the velocity of the marble at point b is in the horizontal direction right so the velocity is is directed along the horizontal direction and now let's say i define my coordinate system since the marble is uh, having the projectile motion from point b so let's say that this is my 
origin of my coordinate system this is my positive x and y direction and the initial coordinates of this marble is 0 0 so from this we can say that x naught and y naught position of the marble at point b is 0 0 and then when it reaches this k and c so the coordinates the final coordinates are x and y and as we can see that from the origin the distance traveled along axis r and the distance traveled along the negative y direction so that is minus 2 meters so now if i consider the uh, vertical projectile motion so we can write that uh, y equals to y naught uh, plus v b y into t minus half g t square so now this is v b and this vb is horizontal so we can say that this vb is equal to vbx so this means that the y component of vb at, at point b is zero since it is acting in the horizontal direction so this vby is zero and y naught is also zero this is y naught is zero the y coordinate of the marble at point b is zero and now y is minus two so i will write minus two and this will be equal to minus 1 divided by 2 and g is 9.81 t square so minus will cancel out and from this t square equals to 2 into 2 4 divided by 9.81 and if we take the square root then that will be the time taken by the marble to reach that point c from point b 4 divided by 9.81 this t is equal to 0 0.6386 so t equals to 0 0.6386 seconds now if we consider the horizontal motion along the positive x direction so that will be x equals to x naught plus vbx into t and that will be plus 1 divided by 2 ax into t square since we know in the projectile motion the uh, horizontal component of the velocity, velocity remains constant so there is no acceleration in the x direction a axis is always equal to zero in the projectile motion so this will become zero and x the final position of the uh, marble along the horizontal direction is r so i will write this as r x is equal to r and x naught is zero this is zero and vb x is equal to vb since the v, the vb is horizontal at point b so vb is 4.429 this is 4.429 into t this is t 0 0.6386 so 4.429 multiplied by 0 0.6386 so this is 2.83 we can say that the approximately r is equal to 2.83 meters and now in the problem statement we are asked also required to find the velocity of the marble at point c so again we will apply the work energy principle so now we can apply the work energy principle from a to c or we can apply it from b to c both will give us the same answer so now let's say if i apply the work energy principle from b to c so then that will be the kinetic energy at point v plus the summation of the work done by the external forces from b to c will be equal to the kinetic energy at point c so now the kinetic energy at point b is 1 divided by 2 mass so mass is 5 divided by 1000 times vb square so now vb is 4.429 square this is vb plus again uh, when it is moving from b to c the only work is done due to the weight right if we again consider the normal and tangential coordinate system if this is my normal and tangential coordinate system so the weight is acting in the downward direction so the only weight is act, uh, doing the work on this marble so the work done due to the weight and that would be equal to the kinetic energy at point c that will be 1 divided by 2 and mass is again 5 divided by 1000 into vc square and again the work done due to the weight is the 
W times delta Y and W is again uh, that mass times G. So the mass is 5 divided by 1000 and G is 9.81 and now the change in the vertical position from B to C. So the change in the vertical position from B to C is 2 meters. So we have to multiply this with 2. So this is the work done due to the weight. Now as we can see that we can divide this whole equation by the mass. So this mass will cancel out here, this will cancel out and this will cancel out as well. So we will be left with uh, this 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5 into 4.429 square and here we are left with 2 into 9.81 and this is 0 0.5 vc square. Now we can divide both sides of equation by 0 0.5 so we will be left with vc and then we have to take the square root to find the velocity of the marble at that cane c location. So we see comes out to be equal to 7.672. So we see equals to 7.672 meter per second. So this is the required velocity which is equal to 7.672 and it will cover a distance of 2.83 meters from B to C.